Hi, I'm Peter Dalmaris and welcome to Introduction to Electronics. In this course, we'll embark on an exciting journey to explore the fascinating world of electronics. And in this lecture, I want to explain what this course is all about, what you learn and why this knowledge is so important for anyone looking to build a career or a passion in electronics. Whether you are aiming to become an electrical engineer or just starting out with platforms like Arduino or Raspberry Pi, understanding the basics is absolutely critical. Electronics are the foundation of almost every piece of modern technology and without a solid grasp of the core principles, it's like trying to build a house without knowing how to lay bricks. This course will give you those fundamental skills. In this course, you'll start with the absolute basics. What are electronic circuits? How does electricity flow through a circuit? What are the essential components like resistors, capacitors, inductors, and transistors? And what role do they play? These questions are where every electronics engineer begins. But of course, it doesn't stop there. You also learn how to use the tools of the trade. We'll work with three critical tools that every engineer or hobbyist needs. Mathematics, simulators, and bench test instruments. Mathematics helps us understand the relationships between voltage, current, resistance, and power through concepts like Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's laws. These calculations will allow you to predict how a circuit will behave. We'll also be using circuit simulation software. Simulators let you design and test circuits virtually before building them in the real world, which is a huge time saver and helps avoid costly mistakes. Finally, we'll get hands-on with real-world components and instruments like the multimeter and oscilloscope. These tools allow you to measure and troubleshoot circuits, translating theory into practice. You'll build, test, and verify circuits on a breadboard, learning how to diagnose problems and improve designs. Through a mix of theory, simulation, and practical projects, you'll learn how to work with real components, design circuits, and analyze the results. By the end of this course, not only you'll understand how electronic circuits work, but you'll also have the skills to build and troubleshoot your own circuits, whether you are working with basic resistors and capacitors, or later on advancing to programmable platforms like the Arduino or the Raspberry Pi. Why is this important, you might ask? Well, it's because electronics is the foundation of almost everything we interact with today, whether it's your phone, your computer, or your home automation system. With the knowledge and skills you'll gain in this course, you'll be equipped to take on bigger challenges, like designing and programming your own custom devices, or even advancing to careers in electrical engineering. Learning electronics is your first step toward creating with programmable electronics. Once you understand how circuits work, you'll be ready to integrate microcontrollers like Arduino or Raspberry Pi into your designs. Imagine building a weather station, an automated lighting system, or even a robot. Projects that are possible once you know the basics of circuits and components. In this course, you won't just learn the theory behind electronics. You'll get hands-on experience through several practical projects. These projects are designed to help you apply what you've learned and build real circuits with your own hands. You'll set up basic circuits using resistors, capacitors, and jumper wires to explore how current and voltage behave in a real-world environment. You'll learn how to connect components correctly and troubleshoot your setups. You'll calculate voltage, current, and resistance in both series and parallel resistor circuits. You'll measure these values with a multimeter, comparing your calculations with real-world results. You'll also dive into more advanced projects, like building a resistor-capacitor circuit and explore AC signals using an oscilloscope. You'll observe the charging and discharging behavior of a capacitor and calculate the time constant. With tools like the multimeter and oscilloscope, you'll measure how a capacitor or inductor behaves over time and visualize the charge and discharge curves. So whether your goal is to become an electrical engineer, build your own gadgets, or just gain a deeper understanding of how the technology around you works, this course is the perfect starting point. I look forward to guiding you through the journey into the world of electronics, where you'll develop the skills, tools, and confidence to build your own projects and explore endless possibilities.